Welcome to Worship Planner Hangout. My name is Chad. Today I'm going to show you a stage design that my team and I created that I think you're really going to like. Check this out. you see behind me we're calling floating tiles basically what it is is plastic plastic and paracord the plastic is a core plast corrugated plastic uh, we cut that up into 12 by 12 squares poked a hole in the center and ran it through um, long strips uh, long strands of paracord and we we suspended it uh, separated each one as you can see they're separated by 12 inches uh, we, and we put a, a zip tie on uh, the bottom of each tile. So uh, that just helps keep it in place. It still can freely spin. So that way as the air flows through the room, uh, you have an ever-changing, ever-moving uh, stage design uh, that won't look exactly the same 10 months from now or a month from now even. Now I'm gonna show you guys pretty much the more in detail of how I made this. So as you can see, it has a really good look from a little further back. And as you get closer, you can start to see the paracord and what makes up the backdrop. So, so let's use this one for example. This is core plast. It's very thin plastic that's, uh, that's built like cardboard. It has those uh, ridges on the inside. I simply, like I told you in the last clip, that I, I cut these uh, eight by four sh uh, sheets into 12 by 12 tiles, poked a hole in the center, ran it through paracord, see it's, it's pretty loose. And right here, I put on a zip tie just to hold it in place. Now, if you put enough pressure on that zip tie, it will move up and down. So if you feel like you're gonna have a, an issue with that, you can secure this a uh, different way. It's really simple to make. You hit it with you know, a, a simple LED light, no matter what color, it's gonna, I mean, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna shine and it's gonna look good, especially from further back or even at angles kind of like this. What I love about this design is that, like I said before, it's, it's ever changing. So any kind of airflow you have through the room, if you put this on a time-lapse, you will see these moving because of the airflow and uh, that they're able to flow with the wind. So uh, I, I definitely wouldn't recommend this design in an outside setting just because it, it is so, uh, it is so kind of, flimsy uh, for lack of better words now I believe it could work if you weighted it down on the bottom somehow they are decently weighted with the plastic and the, and the paracord itself uh, being so long but it's not enough weight uh, to keep it blowing from blowing in the wind we have a heater on one side of our stage uh, and if that if that heaters turned on these things really do start moving a lot another thing to think about is how to position your lighting on this design. What I love about Coroplast is that, and you can see this, and I'll, I'll show you on this side and go over to the other side. The light is hitting it from the bottom, but what's great is if we come around, we can also see that just a little bit from the top. It has uh, just enough translucency that you can see the color. You can start to see the color on the other side. These are 16 foot. There are 16 tiles on each strand of paracord separated by 12 inches. Each tile is separated by 12 inches. Each strand of tiles is separated by 17 inches. That gives it enough space to where they won't hit each other if they were side by side, as you can see. What I like to, what I like to do is not worry about putting the hole exactly in the center because you do see that they do fall to the heavier side once they are suspended. It gives it a, a much better effect. 
uh, as if they're falling, floating, whatever you want to call it. Another thing that I would think about uh, when making this design is what size your tiles are going to be. So if you have a smaller venue, 12 by 12 may look too big. Uh, to get the same look, you might want to go smaller. So you just have to you have to judge that. I, that that's there's no formula or special thing that I come up with for that. I just I from other stuff that I've done in the past, I know 12 inches is just. I just thought it might look good and I and to be honest with you I, I actually got kind of lucky so so I, I just picked 12 by 12 it was easy um, out of a out of a 8 by 4 8 foot by 4 foot um, piece of core plastic obviously I can get 32 of those so that helped me also be able to um, plan out how many how much it was going to cost including coroplast seriously guys seriously this did not even cost $300 I got I got the paracord on Amazon for um, a little less than 50 maybe a little above 50 after tax uh, you can get the zip ties anywhere and I got the I got the uh, core blast from a plastic place a uh, big warehouse um, in Greenville South Carolina so uh, wherever you live, find a place that, that does the, the same type of core plastics. It's this is basically the same thing they make uh, small signs with, uh, political signs and uh, yard sale signs, maybe even uh, realtor signs, you'll see those uh, made with that same material. So I want to quickly go over a materials list for you guys when making this design. If you want to make this exact thing from scratch, all you will need is 13 four by eight sheets of core plastic, 600 ish. Uh, I just bought a thousand feet of paracord on Amazon, 415 or 16 zip ties. Maybe that's that's about it. Tools, uh, you'll definitely need some scissors to cut your, your paracord. You'll definitely need a, ma uh, a, lot, a match. Yeah, light a bunch of matches. You'll need a lighter uh, to burn your paracord, razor blade to cut the, 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 the core plastic. It's, it's really that easy to cut. And uh, whatever you use to get up, um, in your space, in, uh, around your stage. That's it. Get out there, have fun uh, making this, and uh, just make it make it work for your space. That's what's most important. Don't worry about the the exact dimensions and stuff. I just want to give that to you because I know there are going to be some people that ask those questions. Hey, what's what's what is exactly what you did? I want to do that, and uh, and I want to get that out there. But but tailor it to your space. That's the most important thing. Anyway, I want to see pictures too, so send me some of those. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, I'm, I'm here to help. You can uh, comment down below and we can connect via email afterward. Uh, otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video and subscribing uh, so you can see when new content comes out. And remember, great worship leaders are always learning. Have a great day.